Hi guys, thanks for joining me. I'm Katrina from Katrina's Creative Heart. And today I'm going to make a card with you using the Detailed with Love stamp set and bundle um, that's found on page 39 of your catalog. I love this bundle. It was one of the first things I purchased because I did fall in love with it. Um, there's a lot of great product in this bun in this suite, I should say. It's a suite of product. Um, but today we're just going to be using the stamp set and the Detailed Trio Punch. Okay, so I'm just going to set this aside. We are going to use our Stamparatus today, which is an amazing tool um, and definitely ranks as one of the must-have tools in your arsenal of all things stamping. So it does come with a little instruction booklet, so that's always nice to reference. It comes with two acrylic doors I like to refer to them as or plates um, both are hinged it comes with set that aside a foam insert this is for when you're using your photopolymer stamps um, and then you would just use your standard base if you are using which we will be today using your red rubber stamps um, clear mount of course so it, like I said, it does come with the two doors. It also comes with some, let me get these off here, heavy-duty magnets that do store nicely right here on the back side. There's some recessed areas, and these are nice, strong magnets. I have mine wrapped in duct tape just to make for a handle because they do stick down so well. It just helps to um, pick those up nice. So again, a nice sturdy base, nice storage area there for your magnets. And like I said, this tool is awesome. So as I stated, we are not using the foam insert because we are using our uh, red rubber. Drawing a blank here. Set that aside. Um, I did create a template. I used my grid paper. Let me set my Stamparatus aside here for just a second because I want to show you what I did. I created a template with a piece of window sheet. But first what I did is I started with my grid paper that I like to stamp on. And I, with a ruler, drew out a four inch and a three inch and a two inch square using my grid paper with my center point right here where the lines intersect, okay? So once I made my squares here and then I did them on the diagonal, same size, four inch, three inch, and two inch, and then I traced them out onto a piece of window sheet. I lined my window sheet up right on those squares that I had drawn. And then using marker, I just traced them out. I used permanent marker. And the stamp, the side that I drew on, I keep to the bottom so that when I clean this off, when ink gets on it, I'm not going to keep wiping it until eventually I wear off that permanent marker. But um, a friend of mine, um, after I showed her what I had done, she came up with the idea of she drew it out on her grid paper, but then she laminated the, you know, cut the grid paper down and then laminated it. So that would work perfectly as well. So anyway, so I created this grid and this is what I'm going to use this little template to make our wreath pattern. Okay. So I'm going to bring back the Stamparatus. We need this. We need our Make sure your magnets do not touch because they are very strong. Let's see, I want my... And they'll, they will break if they snap together. So I just want to hold my... Let's see, I think I'm going to put it right in the corner that way and it won't move. Oops. See that? That does stick well. In there, no, I want that. There we go. I want to make sure I'm not in the way of my pattern. So I have for my card base a piece of basic gray, and this is cut four and a quarter by eleven. I did score it 
before we started at five and a half. And I'm just going to set that aside. Then I cut a piece of Whisper White. This is four inches square and it's going to fit perfectly within these squares. So I'm going to alternate between the blue and the red. So I'm going to start on the blue and I'm just going to put my magnet down. I don't need this one right at the moment. So here I am going to bring in my stamp set. Again, we're using the Detailed with Love. And I'm using this image right here, this little floral pattern. And I am going to start right about there. That looks good. And I'm going to just close my plate. And you know what? Yeah, I'll just use my... You want to keep something next to this, either your stamp case or even an ink pad will work nicely. So that when you open up your plate, the first door that you're stamping with, it lays nice and flat for inking up. So I am going to bring in my lovely lipstick. I'm going to open it and I'm just going to ink up my stamp here. Sure. And then I'm going to close my door. All right. And now I'm going to turn to the red square. Blue square. And I'm just going to continue around and I'll just speed up this video here at this point so you can just watch me continue to alternate red and blue squares. Okay, so now I've completed my lovely lipstick. I'm just going to set that aside. And then I want to bring in my Simply Chamois. If you don't have one of these, this is another one of those must-haves, especially if you're going to use a Stamparatus, because you can't pick up your big Stampin' Scrub to clean your stamps on the Stamparatus. So if you get the chamois, you pick it right up, clean your stamp. Okay, so now I'm just going to leave my stamp right here, or my paper right where it is. I'm now going to bring in the stamp, and I'm going to bring it out here. And I am going to pick it up right there and now I'm going to bring in oh you know what I don't look at that this way I want it let's see there we go oh excuse my dog we have workers outside running cable and they apparently came to back to hopefully pick up their trucks <laughs> that are parked at the end of my driveway. Um, anyway, and he's not too impressed. So, just going to ink it up and again alternating the blue and the yellow or the blue and the red squares as I go around. So, again, I'm going to go back to the music so you don't have to listen to me. Okay, 
So that finishes up the pineapple punch. Again, clean off our plates here. Now, if I was going to be doing multiples of this card, at this point I would put my second plate on and do the remaining of remainder of my stamping, but I'm only making this one, so I'm not going to bother with the other plate. I'm just going to remove this stamp and return it to the case here. And I'm going to pull out my little oval here. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to pull this off. So that completes the wreath. And I'm just going to set this aside now. And I don't need my template anymore, so I can set that aside. So now I need my little scrap paper. And I'm just going to add my magnet there to hold that down. And I'm going to lay my stamp right where I want it. And this is where you're going to see where the Stamparatus is really helpful. I'm still using my um, original archival gray, basic gray ink pad. I have not gotten the new classic gray yet, basic gray. So as soon as I get that, I will switch over. But for now, I'm using the archival. So I'm just going to ink it up. See how I missed? I'll bring you in just a little bit so you can just see a little bit how I m missed a whole chunk of that stamp right there. So I'm just going to pick that up again and put a little more pressure along that side. See, that's much better. So that's why your Stamparatus is awesome, because you can get right in there and do a fantastic job of stamping. No more trying to reline it up, which is always a nightmare. Squeaky clean with the Simply Chamois. Alright, I just store it in a wood mount case. It actually fits in a standard stamp case. Um, I just didn't happen to have a spare one to do that. All right, so now I'm going to take this over to the Big Shot, and I am going to cut this out with one of my stitched oval framelits. Um, I did keep the Big Shot over the other side here because I did not want to shake the camera, so just give me one moment. Okay, so now we have our framelit cut out. Now I'm going to bring in our card base our stamped wreath and this, and I'm going to bring in our trio punch. Now you're going to notice on this punch we have three different punched areas. Today I'm only using this design right here, but I did want to show you, I brought over, I did, a little scrap piece. You can see all of the components here. So the, fir the first two punches are corner punches. This one is a corner and this is a corner rounder. So you put in your corner and now you get this. Let's see if I can catch it in the camera. There we go. Little design there. Then you can come around and round the corner. Okay. Then this third one is just a tag hole and you'll notice there's a little line that runs down through here and that is for helping you to line things up like if you wanted to center that so you put your tag in straight like so and you hit the center as best you can and well because this is a small piece center did kind of run into that but it does make I can show you. Let's just do another one. It does make a little tag hole. There you go. Less glare doing it that way. 
So rounded corner with a design and then your tag. All right, so we are just gonna do the design on the four corners here. So let me get my little scraps out of here. All right, so we're just gonna come in at the corner and there's little corner edges here where it butts it up against perfectly. four corners just like so okay so we'll set that aside now we need our card base we're gonna bring that in and I got my snail and nothing too dramatic here just gonna snail it down and I'm just gonna Put it right about there. Okay. Then I'm going to bring in my oval and a couple of dimensionals. have some of the lovely lipstick it is the one eighth inch I think yes it's one eighth inch grow grain ribbon in the lovely lipstick and this is such a nice ribbon it does tie nicely but we're not going to get too crazy and fancy with it we're just going to make a knot so I just wrap it around the base here so you can see twisted and then it doesn't want to tie good and then a little trick I have is I have these self-locking tweezers I like to just hold that down like so and then I just make my little knot if I can get my fingers to cooperate and work there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna trim my ends here. Then, gotta have bling. I've got my rhinestones. Ooh. My package here is a little cattywampus. Okay, I got runaway gems over here. The packaging is all stuck. Interesting. I don't know what happened there, but okay. I'm just going to pick up some gems and I'm going to get crazy. You don't have to do this. Just a few work, but I am really in the mood for a little glitz and glimmer so we're just going to do all these yellow pineapple punch flowers and there 
is our card. Isn't it pretty? It's so glitzy and glimmery with the gems. Let's see if we can get you in here a little bit. So that completes our card. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, I'm Katrina from Katrina's Creative Heart. You can visit me at www.katrinascreativeheart.com. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And I hope you come back and visit me again. Thanks. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.